that is a driverless tractor from a tech startup called Agtonomy, which is partnered with Bobcat. Autonomous vehicles save on labor, which costs on average $40 per acre per year. And so a bunch of companies are demonstrating driverless products. Like there's one from Monarch, which stops when it senses humans. Farm equipment stocks have gone up over six months. But as you noted, farm incomes are going to come down this year, but they'll still be elevated. And even so, companies like ACO, ACO says it could have actually sold more tractors, but for supply chain problems in 2022. I think we're pretty lucky, right? Farmers are starting to see a reduction in some of their input costs while their outputs still remain pretty high. Now, another trend is sustainability. You see a lot of electronic tractors here, and this one from New Holland that runs on methane. Yes, from cow manure. It allows dairy farmers to make fuel from their own cows. We are still working through our pricing right now. Um, but based on our customers' qualified trade-ins, there are different subsidies that are also available for this product. Yeah, as these farm incomes come down, Kelly, while they still may be willing to spend, to go to this new technology, it may take subsidies, government subsidies, subsidies from you, the taxpayers, to convince them to do it. Kind of like we're subsidizing electronic vehicles for the road. Jane, those driverless tractors, I mean, that feels like a productivity revolution in the making we, we you know Pippa Stevens was telling us she grew up spending summers where you're just all day back and forth and back and forth I mean can you imagine if these tractors yes. could do a lot of that work yes. and, and free everybody up to do other things it, it here's the thing even if it's not fully autonomous if most some applications on the tractor are autonomized that really saves on the wear and tear on a farmer's body. The person doesn't have to get in and out every row to check something. You can have somebody who's not fully capable of operating a tractor to at least drive this and it can do some things. So some companies are building these equi equipment from the ground up like Agtonomy. Others like Agco are retrofitting uh, existing tractors to do autonomized uh, goals, tasks so that farmers can kind of do step ups with something they're more and more comfortable with. It's, it's really the buzz here more than electric tractors. Autonomy saves a ton of money. It's fascinating. Jane, thank you as always for bringing that to us. We appreciate it.